Welcome back to Exotic Car Play Place, everybody. Thanks for joining in again today. We are going to give you five of the most satisfying sports cars today. These cars will give you high performance, agile handling, fun driving experience with manual or dual clutch transmissions. The car will give you the goods regardless. Stick around to the end. I'll give you a sixth bonus track. And this one actually happens to be one of the best, most engaging cars and satisfying cars of all time. Let's get into it now. Welcome back to the channel everybody, Mark with Exotic Car Play Place and today The first car on my list is the Audi TT RS. That's right, this 400 horsepower, five cylinder turbocharged engine produces around 400 horsepower. All wheel drive, launch control, this thing is as quick as an Audi R8 out of the hole. Yes, full send, you can do zero to 60 on this thing in about 2.8 seconds. Can you believe how quick these things are? We have cross drilled ventilated brakes up front oversized calipers, spoiler on the back. This car really does set itself amongst many other cars out there. Short wheelbase, huge power, aggressive spoilers. This car really does have the looks, the performance to back it, and honestly is one of the most exciting cars that you can get today. Yes, all wheel drive, dual clutch transmission. It really shifts hard, fast, and is extremely exciting to drive. Moves good too. Guaranteed to excite, you'll have a smile for days we're driving this bad boy. And so the next great car on my list actually happens to be a Jag F Type R. That's right, we have an SVR R's here as well. Beautiful cars, some of the most stunning machines on the planet today. And with 550 horsepower in the R, or even more in the SVR, these things aren't short on performance. And they do come with an automatic transmission, which dumbs them down a little bit although they do shift very, very well. But where these cars get so exciting is the fact that they have a supercharged five liter V8 engine that produces 550 horsepower. That's enough to light your day. And if that wasn't enough to light your day, guess what? The sounds that come out of this quad exhaust on both the SVR as well as the R, these produce the best sounds in the business, bar none. start out by saying just look at these cars you've got the quad exhaust tips the carbon fiber wing but just look at the side profile of this just look at the profile on here and the flares and the haunches here this car is absolutely stunning what's not to like about a Jag the next car on my list actually happens to be this car right here Porsche 911 GT3 RS why what's so special about this so so what's so exciting about a GT3 RS well look at the brakes oversized brakes we have center locks we have a big wing that's actually entirely adjustable how about these vents for the engine cooling how about these vents for brake cooling how about that spoiler super aggressive absolutely stunning machine for sure no doubt about it one of porsche's most intensive cars of all time but just look at that amazing rig that is such a stunning car but it's not about the looks, it's about the engaging drive. These cars with the high revving, normally aspirated flat six engine is truly tuned and is as fast or faster than many, many supercars out there today. These are an animal, a beast, high revving, high strung, extremely engaging, sucks to the road like nothing else out there. This is arguably one of the most engaging cars available in the market today. Yeah, they come at a price, but with 500 horsepower and a PDK or dual clutch transmission, you won't find a more exciting car than this right here, the 911 GT3 RS. So here we are, what do we have today? We have a 2017 Corvette Z06. So the next car on my list is actually the Corvette Z06, but it's not the new C8, it is the C7 Z06. The reason this car is so spectacular is because it is so unwieldy. You remove traction control and you can couple it up with a manual gearbox. Makes it, makes it extremely engaging of a drive. Huge power with 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. The car will launch from zero to 60 in, well, let's just say under three seconds. It is incredibly quick. It can be extremely violent. And with a manual gearbox, 
These cars are some of the most exciting cars on the planet today. We'll have to wait and see what the new C8's all about, but so far the C7 is really the engaging drive for Corvettes. <laughs> and so the next car on my list that is actually of the most engaging drives is a BMW. Yes, you have guessed it. There is a BMW on the best driving sports cars. We are talking about the M2 competition. That's right, it's the baby brother to the M3 and the M4, which use the S55 engine. The M2 competition now, this year, also uses a variation of the S55 engine, which happens to have similar turbocharging attached to a three liter inline six cylinder <laughs> engine. Now this car is similar, slightly detuned, again, right? but the M2 competition is very, very quick unwieldy in some cases because of the short wheelbase and lighter weight and compact appeal. These cars are extremely quick and agile on their feet. You can get a dual clutch transmission or a manual gearbox depending on which way you like to go. But it is such an exciting drive that there aren't many cars of that caliber anymore. Now that BMWs have grown quite large and substantial, the M2 really does it bring the car brand back down to its roots. And the last car on my list is the bonus round and this is a car that has always classically made a list for one of the best most rewarding and satisfying driving experiences and that is the venerable porsche 930 turbo from the 70s and 80s that's right with a rear engine layout heavy back end heavy understeer pronounced with extreme snap oversteer these cars were called the widowmaker so let's feel what this thing feels like here we're gonna hit the on ramp and we're gonna see what this old school Porsche really can do. Porsche have always been interesting drives, but when the turbo came out, they added horsepower to the equation. When the 930 came out, it was a turbocharged flat six, originally as three liters capacity, moved up to 3.3 after a couple of years. This car produced as much as 300 horsepower in stock format. Predictable, extremely rewarding, because it had extreme understeer followed by snap oversteer if you continue to push or lift throttle mid-turn created many many accidents and was labeled a widowmaker because of its unpredictable driving nature get all of the controls right the offset clutch the upward clutch pedal and the offset driving position with the long shifter and the power arm steering and get it all right and you had yourself a car that was so rewarding, so satisfying, and so gratifying. The Porsche 930 was arguably the best driver's car in history. Oh, ho, ho. And on that note, be sure to hit the link over there. That's going to take you to another great video. We'll talk about reliability this time. Hope to see you guys soon. Catch you then. Bye-bye.